Let's come up to the front. Um, back to the, back to the uh, analytics hands, um, as a follow-up to the earlier question. Um, can you give me, what, what specific advice can you give about when, when implementing the out-of-box, the, the, the analytics apps, or for EBS, or whatever, whatever you're doing, the specific, you know, gentle wisdom you have? Yeah, uh, I think, specifically about the out-of-box applications, I think, it's not, don't, it's not meant to be, you have to be, you have to understand that the, what the out-of-the-box applications are, right? And they are not, they in, in and of themselves are not the solution, right? They are, to, they are a terrific tool to help you get to the end state. And we have plenty of clients who come in who want to implement the out-of-the-box, and whenever they implement it, they look at it and their first response is, it's not what I, it's not the way I run my business. Right, and so managing those expectations. And so the out-of-the-box tools are terrific. Uh, they bring with them the dimensions, the tables, the ETLs. Uh, like we talked about earlier, proof of concept from a dashboard from an analytics perspective, they bring all of those components with them. Uh, very rarely do we find an organization that they really take out-of-the-box without customization and use it to run their business as they do today. And so uh, the, you know, the, the recommendation I give to you is to how do you run your business? Uh, fit gap against what the standard uh, apps will deliver to you, and then go from there. And you'll, you'll take the standard apps and you'll be able to customize them to meet your business needs. Yeah, I was going to make the exact same point that as much time as you spend doing the gap analysis on the front end, that time would be very well served, and it will help to set the proper expectations. I think in many cases, the Oracle Business Intelligence applications have been oversold. And so they're not going to solve 100% of anyone's needs. But they're going to solve a good percentage. They're going to be an excellent jump start because of the ETLs and the data model. That they are not the panacea for everything. 